Tuck in 3D model limbo? Drowning in polygons and frustrated with the time it takes? Or want to see an augmented reality before buying any product, then this video is for you. In this video, we'll dive into the incredible world of AI for 3D creation. So, without further ado, let's dive in. This is Devit and you are watching AI Lockup. To create 3D models or augmented reality, today, I will use an AI-powered tool called Hyperhuman Rodan. With this incredible AI tool, you can turn your text prompt or 2D images into hyper-detailed 3D models. I will put the link in the description. Just head over there and then create an account. Once you are successfully logged in, your interface will look like this. Here you will find two options, Chat Avatar and Rodan. With the Chat Avatar feature, you can turn your 2D avatar image into a 3D model. But the real surprise is in Rodan's feature. With this feature, you can convert any 2D image into 3D assets and even generate from text prompts. Let's explore Rodan's extraordinary capabilities. To generate a 3D model we have to upload the 2D image here. You can generate it with text prompts also. Click on the text input from here and then enter a detailed prompt. For example, I am typing, a hyper-detailed Jackson Chameleon, full body, flat background. Although it's not a detailed prompt, it will be okay for us. Click on the tick mark from here. And here it is, our image is ready. Now if you don't like the image, click on this regenerate button to generate another image. You can customize the prompt too. There is an important point to be noted. Don't generate any background. It creates complexity in model generation. That's why, I used a flat background. Generate some images and then select the best one. Once you find the best image, click on this tick mark. You can generate multiple images. At this moment, I am going with a single one. You can play around with them. Okay, now hit the generate button. And here it is. Rodan generates the geometry map from our 2D image. Now if you are not satisfied with the result, then click on the redo button from here. This is the new one. You can customize the text prompt from here. Under the prompt box, you will find the geometry options. Use or skip them as per your need. If you find the previous one was better than the current one, don't worry, you will find all the generation results in this history tab. Alright, once you find the perfect one, click on this confirm button. Before confirming the model, you have to set the polygon value. I will suggest to turn on this hyper option. It requires a subscription. But trust me, the result will be 100 times better. And the subscription plan is not so costly. You can buy a creator monthly plan only for $24 and a business plan only for $96. You can get extra 50% bonus credits of the first payment using my referral link from the description. Alright, as I already have a business plan, I am turning it on. Once you click on the confirm button, Rodan will start creating the mesh. And our geometry model is ready. You can preview the model in geometry and wireframe view. Now if you want to edit the mesh, click on this mesh editor tab. This is the mesh editor of Rodan. Now if you need any customization, you can do it from here. Set the value of radius and intensity to do it perfectly. Once you are done, click on the confirm button. And you got your selected version. And if you want to keep that, you need to choose a high poly to export. And also, we have different options for the different 3D formats for you to choose from. And then I will just go to the material generation and then download. For the material generation, actually, we can generate based on this image or based on another image. So we will just try to generate this image first. It will take you another 20 seconds to generate that. Yeah, we're generating. If you want to keep your module private, you can just keep this to lock your model. Also, you can see the share button to have a quick sharing of your generation of social media. Yeah, so you can see here we have the BPR views of this model. And also, the tune shaded views. So I would just like to try another image as the texture. Click on this plus icon and then upload the new texture image. And here you can also choose a BPR temperature. That means if you increase the index, we'll have more details on the BPR. And also, I will choose the reference genes to be the highest. Okay, here we go. This is the new textures based on this new one. 
If you are satisfied with the result, you can move to the next step. And also, we have the option to redo that. You can also see the history panel to see the different versions and choose the one that you like and click confirm. OK, and then we'll be able to download the material. You can choose from the shaded in BPR, 1K or 4K. And then just hit download. You can publish it directly on the sketch file too. Just hit this publish button. But for now, I will just download that. Yeah, here we go. We have the textures and extract them in this one. Here you can see that we got the high poly model and also the texture for diffuse metallic normal BPR and roughness. So it will be easy for you to do any revisions on your model. Now let's create an augmented reality or 3D model of a product. For example, I want to buy this product. But before that, I want to see the AR preview. Just drag and drop the image here and then hit the generate button. You can see that Rodan generates a model from the image like the previous one. Now like the first one, adjust all the values and create the final 3D model. As we already discussed about the method, I am skipping this time. And here it is, our model is ready. Download the model to your device. Now you can see this model with AR Viewer. Alright, now let's talk about another interesting feature. Rodan allows uploading multiple images and creating a fusion. You can upload up to 5 images. After uploading the images, select the method between Multiview and Fusion. Multiview is for generating multiple textures. And with this fusion model, you can create a fusion model with all these images. I will go with Fusion. And this is our fusion model. You can set the intensity of the images to customize the model design like this. After that generate the geometry map, set the material for texture, and then create the final output. Play around the settings to get the best result. In conclusion, Hyperhuman, Rodan is an extraordinary tool for creating 3D models. And the pricing is also very reasonable. If you are a 3D artist, you should try this tool at least one time. It will save your time and effort. Link in the description. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience with creating 3D models with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!